Today we are going to see what's going on with this BR. Some scientists say that this BR is 1000 times more dangerous than previous Mars and SARS. Scientists warned that this BR could be up to 1000 times more infectious than SARS because it plagues in the body in the same way as HIV and Ebola. Experts initially presumed the spread of VR would follow the same trajectory as the SARS outbreak in 2002, because this VR is almost identical genetically. But they have discovered the way it binds to the cells in the human body is akin to far more aggressive diseases like HIV and Ebola. This makes it 100 to 1000 times more efficient at infecting people than SARS, according to the researchers from Nankai University in Tianjin, northern China. SARS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, infected 8,000 people worldwide and killed 774 people in 2002. But in just two months, this VR crisis has already made 82,000 victims and almost 3,000 people have died. But this VR has cleavage sites similar to those in HIV and Ebola, which carry viral proteins that are dormant and have to be cut to be activated. HIV and Ebola target an enzyme called the furin, which is responsible for cutting and activating these proteins when they enter the body. Scientists said compared to the SARS way of entry, this VR's binding method is 100 to 1000 times more severe. However, a study by a Chinese research institute find this VR through two types of subtypes mutations. This is because mutations have been born just two months after the worldwide spread of this VR. So they say that these mutations will be another big problem for researchers investigating about VR. As some media said, are we in pandemic situation? Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison spoke at a news conference in Canberra. This virus is showing a pandemic presence, and we will further strengthen our emergency response. Then what is pandemic? Pandemic is a compound word in Greek. It means that the epidemic is spreading around the world and everyone is infected. Pandemic is also a term of stage 6, the highest of the HWO's first two to six stages of dividing an epidemic by its risk. The WHO is delaying the announcement, but many experts were saying that this should be seen as the beginning of a pandemic. This is a WHO-made table of six diseases. Level 1 infection between only animals, level 2 infection between animal and people, level 3 increased human infection, level 4 initial condition in which human infection will increase rapidly and result in a global pandemic. Level 5 infection is widespread and it's prevalent in at least two countries. Level 6 infection happened to other continents. As you know, this VR has spread across Asia. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and Oceania. So it's already pandemic. So far, we've been few cases of pandemic. 14th century, the Black Death killed 30% of Europe's population. The Spanish flu that infected 500 million people, more than 30% of the world's population, and killed 50 million in 1918. The 1968 Hong Kong flu that killed a million people, 2009 flu outbreak that killed 203,000 people. Experts have expressed this view on the current situation. Nancy Masoni, director of the CDC, said that this VR is getting closer to the pandemic. Pandemics signal that's causing human-to-human -human infection spreading around the world and also it's spreading to whole world. Mark Ripset, professor at the Center for Epidemiology at Harvard University, say that between 40 and 70 percent of the world's population warned of a possible infection. Professor Jimmy Jitwals of the London University said many people would think the current situation is pandemic, 
persistent to transmission is emerging in many parts of the world. Some scientists argue that two weeks ago we were already in early stages of a pandemic. Grant Wilson, the Asia Pacific head of Exante Data in New York, said, Now we agree that this year is in the early stage of a pandemic, almost anonymously. If the current situation doesn't cool down by May, there will be a shocking images in the global supply chain and the financial system that no one wants to see. He also mentioned the possibility of China's statistical manipulation. China's infection number is decreasing dramatically, despite the severity of the VR spreading in Iran and Korea. He also said Indonesia, which has a population of 244 million in close proximity to China, has 62 suspected cases of this VR in Java and Bali, and all of them has been tested negative. And also, I cannot believe the Indonesian government in that 243 of their citizens who came from Wuhan were all tested negative. I cannot believe the Indonesian government. In fact, on February 26, this happened in Indonesia. 188 people from Hong Kong were scheduled to arrive in Indonesia with the World Dream cruise ship. The authorities concluded that everyone had been tested, but they were aware of the risk of a two-week incubation period, decided to quarantine in uninhabited islands around Jakarta for two weeks to prevent the VR spreading in Indonesia. Citizens who are quarantined in the uninhabited island named Sebaru Castle Island for two weeks and they said, we will do proper management and inspection with the authority concerns. That's really new even for me. Isolate people to uninhabited islands to prevent this VR. Despite concerns over the spread of the VR, the Pope, who had continued to meet with the ordinary Catholics, has cancelled his official schedule so far due to health problems. The Vatican said that he had cancelled all official schedules because of the Pope's health condition but did not give any specific reasons. Earlier, the Pope continued to cough. Now, this VR continues to, to spread. Voices of concern for the safety of the Pope continue to emerge. Next case is Japan. They say that in Korea, the number of infected patients is explosive while Japan is coping well. Korea is a dangerous country. Korea conducts tests on 10,000 people a day and that's why we are finding more people. However, Japan is now forced to, to reduce the number of infected patients to host to the Olympics. According to the Department of Health and Labor, the VR in question is currently limited in scope. First, I have been in direct contact with infections. Second, I've been to the countries where the VR was spreading fast. Third, I have a fever more than 37.5 degrees or pneumonia that requires hospitalization. In fact, Japan's Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare maintains that someone will not be tested unless they meet this standard. And actually, they have been conducting less than 100 tests a day. The actual numbers of tests were only 9 tests on February 18. 71 tests on February 19, and 90 tests on February 21. In fact, the total number of the tests since the outbreak of this VR is only 1,522 cases, 829 of which are for Japanese who returned to the Japan from Wuhan, and 693 cases in Japan. This report has also been suspended after February 21, so nowadays we cannot see how many tests they are doing a day. This is a Japanese netizen's opinion. I'm a doctor. I've been examining the suspected patient day after day, but there's no diagnostic method. Even the patient who meet the criteria indicates by the hygiene program cannot be tested. If they don't have any contact with infected or departed experiences, then they cannot get the test. Even I call to the authority as a doctor, I cannot do any examination. We cannot stop the spread of infection.
This is a recall from Japanese lady from Japan. There's more thing which I have to speak about Japan, but I think uh, it will be too long. So I will make a video later about Japan's uh, situation and Olympic. Next, about United States. I'm getting many information through various channels and people, but the exact number of infections and the number of people who are self-quarantined are not clear. There are two difficulties for investigating a VR infection in United States. First, CDC is a hard standard to make a test for VR. Second, money. First, according to CDC, these are the conditions of the person who can be examined. First, a person who has been in contact with a confirmed patient and person has symptoms of infection. Second, a person who has been to a dangerous country and symptoms are serious enough to be hospitalized. Third, a person whose symptoms are seriously enough to be hospitalized but who has not identified it, the cause of the infection. I think they put on such a difficult to test conditions because of lack of inspection kits. Second, money. 3,500 for inspection without insurance. 1,500 for inspection if insured. Because it's a lot of money, even if they know this VR can be threatened to their life, it's going to be really hard to take a test. These are the two reasons why it's hard to get tested in USA. In this situation, USA government has to solve the problem urgently through a lot of supports and institutional supplementation. Flu and this VR it's gonna be a very serious problem. This VR has spread across Asia, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and Oceania. So it's already pandemic, as I told you. Germany 410, France 377, Holland 82, Switzerland 80, Belgium 50. As you can see, Europe's situation is getting severe. People around the world already know this reality, but the HWO's position is very different. This VR infection has spread to 81 countries and killed 3,200 people, but the HWO has not even been able to define the VR. HWO spokesman Tariq Yasharebik said that at the news conference, several organizations are working together to define the pandemic for this VR. It will also take a time to define the present point in time pandemic. So while the HWO acknowledges the possibility of a pandemic, it is anxious to categorize it as a pandemic right now. There is no advantage in using word pandemic. This can amplify irrational fears and stigma to deficiency in each country's system. On the other hand, there are other arguments about why the HWO is hesitant to, to declare the pandemic at this point. When new influenza hit the world in 2009, the HWO was criticized. Despite the low fatality rate, they declared the pandemic fueling anxiety and fear. They cooperated in the fear marketing in pharmaceutical companies. In fact, at 2010, Inside the Survey revealed the financial relationship between WHO experts and pharmaceutical companies, which seems to be another factor causing the HWO's reluctance to declare pandemic. But the public opinion and national response levels continue to be strong over and over. Also, medical staff's effort and input are growing day by day. Many leaders from the all over the world are saying, we are following the HWO's recommendation, so don't worry. The WHO and UN continues to show China-friendly language and behavior, and it looks like already irresponsible to say that national leaders are following the HWO's direction.
right after this VR, YouTube and Google are limiting some YouTubers who are producing VR content. If you have been watching my channel, then you can easily feel. Because they do not intentionally expose my videos to too many people, they will not show my videos to you guys unless you subscribe and find it for yourself. The situation is getting worse. Wash your hands well and wear the mask well for you and your family. The next video shows the situation in North Korea. North Korean dying of hunger, not from the beer. Uh, and uh, last uh, breaking news, Bedford, a professor at the University of Washington and head of the Seattle's Fred Hutchison Cancel Research Center confirmed that this VR from the first confirmed U.S. patient was spreading to the American communities and released a study on March 2nd that found that the number of infected people in Washington state may have reached 500 to 600 already. This is the picture released from CDC, but after getting lots of the blame that this is too little and they deleted this picture. I thought USA was fine, but USA is also hiding lots of the information about the VR as China, but in different way. China is changing the number, USA is hiding the number. Share this and all the time, whenever I make a mistake, just let me know. Be safe.